All right, hello, sahla to everyone that's here with us today. احنا كثير مبسوطين انه مروان وعمر اليوم معنا واخذوا من وقتهم عشان يجاوبوا على اسئله العرب الكنديه ويطمنونا على الكورونا فايروس. Um, so thank you for making time for this session. We really appreciate it. Um, this session راح يكون both بالعربي وبالانجليزي. اول اسئله راح يكونوا بالعربي وبعدين راح يكون اخر خمس اسئله بالانجليزي. Um, uh, I just wanted to say from the Canadian Arab Institute perspective, we were very pleased to hear that your government's announcement of dedicated funding for small business owners, workers, families, and students. Uh, so thank you for all the work that you're doing to represent your communities in a time of crisis and need uh, for support. Um, and of course, there has been a lot of announcements um, and uh, misinformation, as you may be aware, is the largest threat to the health and well-being of our communities. And so we thought an er intervention like this one would be um, good to provide accurate information to people in our community, given that uh, the Arab community in Canada is largely made up of newcomers uh, who may not know how and where to access the right information. We wanted to make sure that the various policies announced uh, are reaching the public, uh, particularly vulnerable communities such as newcomers. So with that being said, uh, uh, my first few questions are in Arabic. Uh, and again, the policy questions are in English, but we will them in Arabic. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll post that on uh, Facebook and YouTube later. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay, well, inshallah, you will be happy and your family will be happy. How are you doing in this house in the house? Let me start and listen to the topic. The important thing for me is to do a routine in the day. When there is no routine, I feel unproductive. And the time will be slow. صرت اعمل روتين انه هالساعه الفلانيه للساعه الفلانيه ب دوينج ورك، الساعه الفلانيه للساعه الفلانيه بطلع بتمشى، الساعه الفلانيه للساعه الفلانيه بطبخ، الساعه الفلانيه للساعه الفلانيه بتفرج على الاخبار او على التلفزيون، سو so الروتين كثير ساعدني اني اكون برودكتيف بالوقت. حلو. مروان؟ نفس الشيء كمان يعني ما عم غير كثير يعني عم ضلنا بالبيت بس عم ضلني اعمل نفس الشيء مثل كنت بعمل بالشغل يعني بس كنت انا بلش على الساعه 9 كنت أيوة. بفتح الايميلز تبعيتي برد على الايميلز وعلى الساعه 12 وحده عم عم باكل اللانش تبعيتي سو عم بطبخ انا هلا بالبيت سو عم بعمل نفس الشيء اللي كنا عم نعمل بس Instead of person-to-person -person contact, I'm going to do the internet, the videos like this one. Uh, so for me, I'm going to do the routine like Omar said, but I'm going to do the same thing that I'm going to do in the work, but with videos. All online. Hello. So with that being said, that's a, it's a, that's a good segue to my first few questions. Um, Omar, this question is for you. I saw that you put a video in Arabic for the people in Canada, the Arab people. بدك تشجعهم للمواطنين انه ينتبهوا على حتى ما ينشر الفيروس وما يسيبهم الفيروس بتقدر تعيد ايش قلت بالفيديو هذا لانه حسيت انه هاي المعلومات كانت كثير مهمه يعني طبعا كل الناس تعرف انه نحن المرحله اللي عم نمرق فيها مرحله صعبه وغريبه من نوعها يمكن بتاريخي انا بحياتي كلها ما شفت فيروس مثل هالفيروس عم العدوى تبعه كثير كثير سريعه جسمنا كبني ادمين ما متعودين على الفيروس فعم ناخده بسرعه رهيبه فكثير كثير ضروري هو مثل ما بيقولوا نحن المثل العربي الوقاء خير من العلاج ايوه خاصه انه هلا ما في دواء لهالفيروس فاهم شيء هو الوقاء والوقاء انه اول شيء نبعد عن عن نقعد بالبيت اذا فينا هلا في ناس تشتغل عندها شغل ضروري ما فيها تقعد بالبيت بس نطلب من اي شخص بيقدر يشتغل من البيت يقعد من البيت آه، نغسل ايدينا آه، بشكل آه، آه، يعني آه، دائم على أيوة. الاقل 20 ثانيه بالصابون أيوة. آه، 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 نعطس او نسعل بكلينكس او بكمنه حتى ما آه، 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 نعطس على الناس ثانيين أيوة. آه، نبعد على الاقل اذا عم نحكي مع ناس نبعد عنهم مترين مسافه مترين آه إذا حدا جاي هلا رجع من السفر كان محل بل بلد ثانية إجباري في قرار إجباري الحجر الصحي لمدة أسبوعين هذا القانون على فكرة القانون بأنتيريو كمان منع التجمع من أكثر من خمس أشخاص فيعني في حالة طوارئ هلا آه في 
تعليمات كثير مهمه للشعب وللمواطنين واخر كلمه بدي اقولها طبعا الحكومه عم تحاول بكل جهدها تعرف تجاوب للظروف اللي احنا عم نمر فيها ان كانت الظروف الصحيه او الظروف الاقتصاديه بس قد ما عملت الحكومه ما في هنا نتجاوز المرحله اللي نحن عم نمر فيها اذا مو كل شخص اخذ مسؤوليته بجديه وبقناعه بعرف في بعض الناس يعني نحن خاصه الجاليه اجتماعيه بنحب نجتمع نشرب قهوه مع بعض يمكن نارجل مع بعض فكثير كثير ضروري انه ندرك قديش ضروري المرحله اللي نحن مرقين فيها وقديش ضروري دورنا ومسؤوليتنا كل شخص مو بس لحمايه نفسنا بس لحمايه اهلنا لحمايه اهالينا لحمايه اولادنا لحمايه جيراننا لانه الفيروس ممكن ينتقل حتى لو احنا ما انعدينا او اذا انعدينا والظواهر كثير ضعيفه لناس ثانيين قد تكون مميته فالمسؤوليه كثير مهمه وانا بعرف انه الجاليه بشكل عام عم تتجاوب مع هالتعليمات فانا بدي اشكر الجميع بس بدي اذكر انه نحن لسه ما المرحله ما يعني لسه ما زلنا ماشيين فيها صعب نقدر نعرف قديش رح تطول yeah. طول المرحله اللي عم نمر فيها معتمد كليا على جديه الناس بالتزامهم بهالتعليمات اكيد شكرا عمر مروان هو هذا السؤال حكى عنه شويه عمر اللي هو كلمه السلف ايزوليشن المعنى يعني عزل الذاتي مش كثير مفهوم لكثير ناس بالبلد فانه بحب تفسر او تشرح للناس ايش يعني سيلف ايزوليشن سبيشلي الناس اللي جايين من السفر ايش بتقولهم لازم يعرفوا اليوم اذا طلعوا من البيت هلا يعني انا اهلي مثلا كعرب بدهم يطلعوا من البيت اول ما يوصلوا من المطار شو بتقولهم يسمعوا على السؤال واول شيء بدي اشكر كل واحد اللي عم يشتغل بالفرونت لاينز بسموها بالمستشفيات ودكتورز ونيرسز وكلنا عم يشتغلوا كمان اللي عم يحطوا كل اغراض اكلنا بالجروسري ستورز وكل واحد اللي عم يشتغل هيدي مهم جدا كثير انه بس العالم اجوا من السفر من بلد ثاني لازم لازم ضروري يضلوا ببيتهم وما لازم يطلعوا اذا عايزين اغراض للبيت يرفعوا تليفون تلفونوا حدا من عائلتهم رفقاتهم جارهم يحطوا أيوة. الاكل وكل شيء برا البيت وهن بيجيبوها ابدا 14 يوم ما لازم يطلعوا ولازم يعملوا سيلف اكزامين نفسهم انه يشوفوا اذا هن عندهم سيمتومز او شيء وسيلف مونيتور نفسهم سو فور يور فيور سامحوني شوي لانه uh, أنا جيت على كندا بس كان عمري خمس سنين سو العربي لا اتس فيري امبرسيف العربي تاعك مروان انه انت جيت على البلد كثير وانت صغير بس مهم جدا وكمان الدولة تبعيتنا هلا نحن حطينا ايفن ستريكتر ريجيليشنز هلا العالم في يجيبوا فاين هلا إذا ما بيضلوا ببيتهم بس اجوا ورا السفر وكمان there could be a prison term so this is we're taking it يعني كثير كثير seriously Yeah. Uh, والناس اللي بيجوا لانه كمان مش بس عم يفكر ما لازم تفكر بنفسك لازم تفكر بعائلتك الكوميونتي وكل بلدنا وكل الدنيا لانه هيدي كلنا مع بعضنا لازم نشتغل على هيدي اكيد اكيد آه، كمان في يعني آه، كثير هلا معلومات عم تطلع عشان في كثير تصريحات عم تيجي من الحكومه وكثير في اخبار عن الكورونا فايروس آه، وكثير في معلومات حوالينا ومش بس من الاخبار من السوشيال ميديا يا واتساب يا انستغرام وتويتر واللي على الفيسبوك ايش برايكم هو افضل مصدر للاخبار للناس بهاي الايام مثلا اللي عنده اللي بتحب اللي بيحب يعرف معلومات عن الـ عن الانفورمنت انشورنس وين يروح او اللي اللي بده المعلومات اللي هي صح وذات كريديبل انفورميشن وير شو بيجو ما بعرف اذا حد بلشي معي يا معك حق يعني هي اول نقطه بدنا نذكر نركز عليها كثير انه بانتشار السوشيال ميديا من الواتساب للفيسبوك لتويتر عم يصير كثير في يعني معلومات مو صحيحه ايوه وبتنتشر بسرعه ليش؟ لانه احيانا بتحاول 
تدفش زرار تكبس زرار يعني العالم ممكن تكون تحسس منها آه. فراسا العالم بصير معقول معقول انا كنت عم فكر هيك اكيد في شيء وبتنشر وبتس... يعني والعالم كمان اللي عم عم تدور على دواء او عم تدور على اسلوب تتعامل مع الفيروس بيلاقي شيء موجود على السوشيال ميديا كثير بيتعلقوا فيه وب فكتير يعني كثير كثير ضروري نذكر الجميع تاكدوا من مصدر المعلومات ايوه واذا المعلومات ساوندز تو جود تو بي ترو يعني يوجلي اتس تو جود تو بي ترو دونت شير ات تشيك ات فيرست اند ذن اف اتس بالضبط شوفوا مصدر yeah. المعلومات yeah. ف يعني انا بنصح اهم شيء الحكومه في عندك ثلاث حكومات الحكومه المحليه حكومه أيوة. المقاطعه وحكومه mm-hmm. الفدراليه فمثلا الحكومه الفدراليه في انا الويب سايت هو canada.ca تروح هذا ذا مين ويب سايت وهلا لانه بسبب المرحله اللي احنا مارقين فيها اذا بتمر بتروح على كندا سي اي المعلومات تبع الفيروس كلها موجوده هنيك او اللينكس موجودين هنيك من بيناتهم السبورت الافيلبل من بيناتهم سيلف اسسمنت تول يعني اذا واحد عنده اعراض وما له عرفان اذا هي الاعراض ممكن تكون للفيروس ولا لا في اسئله ممكن تساعد الشخص يحلل نفسه اذا يقدر ولا لا آه في كمان وكونكشنز لل للبروفينشال هيلث كير يعني انه مثلا في في اونتاريو مثلا في شيء اسمه تيلا هيلث اون لاين هذا اهم شيء العالم اذا عنده اسئله للتيلا هيلث لاين حتى يسالوا الممرضين على على الخط اي اسئله عندهم اياها يجاوبون فيها ف يعني فعلا مثل ما انت قلتي تاكدوا من المصدر ما ي... ما يعيدوا مشاركتها الا اذا كانوا واثقين تماما انه هالمعلومات صحيحه. آه و... واهم شيء المصادر اذا بدهم عندهم اسئله يروحوا على المصادر اللي موثوق فيها هي مصادر الحكوميه او احيانا بدي اقول المصادر الاعلام الموثوق فيها يعني مثل السي بي سي، السي تي بي، جلوبال هدول مصادر موثوق فيها فكثير مهم مراجعه المصادر او او انتبهوا كمان في هلا عالم عم تدعي انه عندها دعم بتمثل بتدعم بتدعي انه بتمثل الحكومه وبتساعد العالم ياخذوا الدعم المادي للحكومه اللي عم تعرضه هلا على اشخاص وعم يطلبوا معلومات شخصيه تاكدوا انه الحكومه ما راح تطلب هيك معلومات عن طريق التاكس كونوا حريصين ما, ما تعطوا معلوماتكم الشخصيه الا ما تكونوا واثقين من المصدر كثير مهم هذا الشيء مروان عندك شيء تزيده ايه آه كنت بدي ازيد انه كمان نحن عندنا آه آه يمكن بيشوفوا على الاخبار كثير كمان الرئيس عم يحكي وكمان حده بيكون الوزير والزيرة وعلى نفس الوقت في ذا تشيف بابليك هيلث اوفيسر اسمها تريسا تام هي كثير عم عم تكون على التلفزيون آه هي بريفيسلي آه كان هي فيزيشن كانت دكتوره وهي كثير آه مهم آه كلامها لازم كلنا نسمع منه انه كمان هي عم عم تقول لنا سو احسن تجيب الانفورميشن من من حدا مثله من الجفرمنت اوف كندا مثل عمر هلا قال كندا.ca اذا بتلفن التيلا هيلث كمان بمنطقتك um, كمان اذا المدينه ذا سيتي اوف اوف ميسيساغا اوف تورونتو عم بيحطوا something on their website او او سيتي اوف وينزر مثلا ذوز ار كريديبل سورسز بس امرار يعني حدا اللي بيعمل يحطوا شغله كويك بوست هيك يعني وي نيد تو جست تيك ا سكند لوك بس اكيد 100% انه بس تجيب الانفورميشن من الدوله او تشيف بابليك هيلث اوفيسر هيدول بتكون مضبوط سورسز فانتاستك شكرا كثير عمر ومروان كثير هذا مهم الواحد <تصفيق> يعني to emphasize this point, particularly the credible sources of information. ف- with that being said, um, my next question to Omar, when and when do you get to see people when they see the virus? What do they need to do if they feel the virus? Thank you for the question. It's very important. There are many people who say they feel the virus. What do they need to do? First of all, the first thing that they can do is to talk with the doctor. او يدق للتيلي هيلث فون لاين اللي اللي هو تيلي هيلث اونتاريو او تيلي هيلث البرتا حسب وين باي مقاطعه الشخص قاعد يمكن في في ممرضين عن الطرف على الخط الثاني بيساعدوا الشخص بيجاوبوا الاسئله وهن بيقرروا ايمتى الشخص بيجي لا ينفحص ولا لا 
فهي مثل ما مثل ما بيعملوا يعني سكريننج سيستم حتى ما يحطوا ضغط كثير على المستشفيات او على العيادات آه فاول آه انا بنصح الجميع اول ناس يحكوا معهم هم التلي هيلث فون لاين او الدكتور تبعهم اذا كانت الاعراض آه موجوده آه الممرضه او الممرض على الخط على الطرف الثاني بيقرروا امتى آه وبعدين بيطلبوا من الشخص يجي على المستشفى او على العياده لا يكون لا يتم فحصه شكرا كثير عمر مروان هو هذا اخر سؤال بالعربي بس بحب انه تجاوب عليه هي الاجراءات اللي عم بتتم اللي عم تاخذها الحكومه الكنديه على انه معالجه جميع الحالات بشكل مناسب انه وات از يعني ذا جوفرمنت دوينج تو انشور انه اور هيلث كير سيستم از ريدي اند بريبيرد فور ذس ايه ام سو هلا اللي اليوم كمان على الساعه 11 الرئيس هو عمل اناونسمنت انه ذيرز نيو فاندنج هلا 2 بليار دولار 2 بليون دولارز لحتى نشتري اشياء هدول اللي بنحط على وجهنا هيدي الفيس ماسك فيس شيلدز كمان هدول اللي بيلبسوا بالمستشفى ذا فول جاونز وكمان فنتليترز بالمستشفى um و كمان المكنه لحتى نعمل تيستينج اذا واحد عنده uh, هيدا الفيروس سو تيست كيتس سوابز واكثر كمان uh, العالم عم يعرفوا عم يروحوا على شابرز دراج مارت ما عم يشوفوا هاند سانيتايزر سو كمان بارت اوف ذس 2 بليون دولارز لحتى يشتروا هاند سانيتايزر واشياء مثل هيك سو ذوس ار ذا تايب اوف ثينجز اللي uh, نحن عم عم نحط مصاري لانه نحن عم نعرف انه هيدا الفيروس راح تكبر راح يكون اكثر في كيسز وكثير عالم ونحن لازم نحضر حالنا بالفلوس بالريسورسز بهدول الاشياء اللي انا قلتهم لحتى بس ذا كيسز جو اب انه نحن حاضرين لهدول وكمان نحن عم نحكي مع المستشفيات وكل شيء اللي هن عايزين عم نعطيهم وكمان شغله ثانيه اللي نحن عملنا انه سالنا الشركات لحتى هن بسموها بالانجليزي ريتولينج المانيوفاكشرنج تبعيتهم يغيروا المكنات تبعيتهم لحتى يعملوا هدول الاشياء لحتى يساعدوا الاندستري لانه كلنا بهيدا الوقت كلنا مع بعضنا الدوله الشركات الناس كلنا لازم دو اور بارت يعني لحتى نساعد بهيدي الاشياء سو ذس از وات وير دوينج اتس ا هول ابروتش مع بعضنا Thank you so much, uh, Marwan, for sharing. Hello, the next questions are going to be in English, but we're going to turn them on because this session is recorded, and then we'll share it uh, online on Facebook and YouTube. So I'm going to ask a little bit about the actual announcements, the policies that have been announced. There have been so many, so I just want to make sure that these policies do not get lost and in, inform our community um, uh, uh, since they're already here with us and they, they, they're joining us today. Um, So, Marwan, I know you represent the writing of Kitchener South. Um, I'm sure Kitchener South has a lot, tons of small business owners uh, that had to shut down given the circumstances. What are you telling small business owners to do right now? Um, so, uh, you know, our heart goes out to a lot of the small business owners. You know, they, they, they employ a lot of people. They're uh, the backbone of, uh, of our economy. This part is in English, correct? Correct, it is, yeah. yes. Just making sure. They're the backbone of our, our economy and uh, you know, we, we want to support them in, in any way we can. We want to make sure that we're supporting them now, today, and even along the way when we, when we come out of this uh, in the near future. Um, so part of um, some of the, the announcements that have, have been brought up in the last couple of weeks is there's a 75% wage subsidy Uh, to make sure employers keep their employees on the payroll. There's also a $40,000 loan that's interest-free for up to one year. And $10,000 of that loan uh, can be forgivable um, just once uh, a company reaches, uh, or, um, yeah. meets certain requirements. Also, so what we're doing is we're deferring the taxes uh, until June to keep that capital in the economy. Um, and we're ensuring that. And also to... Um, There's also an emergency uh, um, response benefit where emergency support benefit um, where um, uh, individuals can apply if they've been laid off or uh, out of work or if yeah. the company had to shut down, uh, they give $2,000 to their employee uh, per month. 
from okay that's months. very interesting i actually want to touch on this piece because this is a piece i think my friends and my community members and everybody else that i know are just um really confused about and maybe Omar can touch a little bit more about this uh, piece in particular can anyone apply for employ employment insurance and what if you already have been on ei do you know if you have to apply again like and particularly some people i think are confused about the difference between the emergence emergency response benefit versus um, EI? Like, what is the difference between them? So the uh, Canada Emergency Response Benefit, yeah. or CERB, um, as we know it now, um, is, is an extraordinary new measure that was introduced by our government yeah. um, to respond to the extraordinary times that we're going through. Uh, and, the, and the benefit is $2,000 a month. And by the way, even though those benefits are taxable, but the tax will not be deducted at payment time. Okay. Uh, the individual can, um, when they file their taxes next year, uh, they, can, they can claim that they earned this money. So they will receive each person, not by family, by person, each person who was affected by the COVID virus, uh, where their income went down to zero, um, will receive this $2,000 a month. And that is broader than people who are eligible for employment insurance. So, um, so self-employed people, people who drive an Uber or people who have their own small business, uh, and now their business um, has been devastated or impacted where they're earning zero money, are eligible to apply for this benefit. And it's up to four months. So, um, uh, um, um, so uh, you know, a household, by the way, um, 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 you have two people who are working each and have been impacted by the virus can each of them receive two thousand dollars a month uh, in support uh, and if you if if they had applied for EI they will autom automatically uh, be transferred to the emergency response benefit okay uh, the application uh, form will be online hopefully by Monday and this program will be administered by Canada Revenue Agency instead of um, a Service Canada that manages employment insurance. Okay. Uh, this is a faster way yeah. uh, to get money to people. Um, and my advice to people, uh, and, and just so you know, and your, uh, your viewers know, this only was passed by Parliament late Wednesday. It became law by Thursday. And uh, today is Tuesday, so that's five days ago. And hopefully, we'll have the uh, application online, ready to receive applications by Monday. Um, and uh, and and it will be retroactive from March 15th, or whenever the impact right. uh, had happened on people. So um, uh, so it's it's an extraordinary measure that uh, everybody who had been affected or has is being affected by the virus will be able to apply for that benefit. That's, you touched on a very important uh, point, or many important ones, but I think the one in particular that I want to uh, reiterate is the fact that, you know, once a bill uh, gets in the House, it takes a while to pass and become law. And so the announcements, maybe if you can just give a, um, uh, a better sense to people uh, how long it takes for, for the announcements to actually be implemented and come into law and become a program or, um, um, you know, if it is in the form of a CRA $2,000 month uh, subsidy, uh, how, how long that usually takes? It's not that when Trudeau, uh, our prime minister, gets out there and, and announces something that it automatically right away they can apply to it. It does take a little bit of time. So under normal circumstances, the legislative, right. the legislative process alone could take anywhere between six months to a year. Right. Um, uh, because it goes through the House of Commons, many stages, experts are invited to uh, offer uh, testimonies, um, studies are done. Yeah. Um, and, and, and we're talking about two stages in the House of Commons, two different votes in, and maybe more in the House of Commons and then same similar process in the Senate. And here I want to pause for a second to uh, offer uh, a gratitude to to the, the fact that even opposition parties have agreed to work with the government under extraordinary circumstances to set aside partisan interest and to work together to support Canadians. So while a normal process could take six months to a year for the legislative process, and by the way, while the legislative process is being done, 
the bureaucracy uh, is working on setting up the infrastructure behind the scene to be able to implement these measures. But what we're seeing here today is that in less than a week, in fact, it, uh, the process, the legislative process was done in, in maybe 24 hours or so between the House of Commons and the Senate and then the Royal Assent from the Governor General. Uh, the bureaucracy is working around the clock to implement these measures, to implement the infrastructure, this massive infrastructure behind the scene where people can apply online and then receive uh, direct deposits or checks in the mail quickly. Uh, and by the way, that's an important uh, point here to raise. Please register for a direct deposit if you want the payment to be received as quickly as possible. Okay. So this is done in extraordinary speed. While I do know that people are also uh, going through anxiety and they have payments due, that's why we're responding to the, 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 with a sense of urgency to the anxiety that people are feeling. But, uh, but it gives you a perspective of how fast the machinery of government, the political process is going uh, to, to, to address the extraordinary needs that we have today. Amazing. Thank you so much, Omar. Uh, I'm going to share the um, CRA direct deposit link with people after this for sure, because that's a, an important one. And I think the um, mental health support line that the uh, Prime Minister also announced or available for uh, people who are st struggling with anxiety and uh, depression during this time, because um, it's not an easy one. Uh, I think we touched on, you know, small business unemployment um, and uh, uh, you know what we should what measures we should be taking seriously in general but I think I'm curious to know how this affects various uh, audiences such as youth uh, families and uh, uh, perhaps not for profits and so on one I'm wondering if you can touch a little bit more on the students slash youth piece what many I guess students and recent grads are facing this uncertainty right now in higher education and I know that's more of a provincial jurisdiction but I know also that the federal government announced something to ensure um, that uh, they, students can continue with their um, job and work prospects. Um, what was done to support them? Um, right before I answer that question, just all these benefits, though, I just want to remind your viewers is that April 6th is the, is the date uh, to, to apply. So um, just mark that kind of down on your calendar so that uh, your viewers can apply okay. uh, right away. In, in terms of um, for students, um, going back before even the COVID virus even started, uh, you know, th th there's been a lot of pressures on, on students, uh, you know, interest rates, um, a lot of students have been after graduation, they're seeing mount loads of, of debt. And you know, that, that wasn't, be uh, that's not a benefit for, for anyone, not for students and not for our economy, right? They're not able to uh, purchase, you know, cars, homes, um, etc. certain things they can't spend in the economy. So it wasn't uh, beneficial for anyone. So um, what we want to do is, is, is to ensure that we uh, lowered that rate. And we did that even before uh, COVID. We lowered the interest rates uh, for student loans. Uh, right now, since the virus has taken, um, uh, taken force, um, we've ensured that there's no payment and no interests at this time for, for any student that, that's, that's enrolled. Right. Um, um, because we know the, the, the pressures that, that uh, it will be uh, faced upon students, and we want to make sure that uh, those pressures are alleviated. Uh, yeah. For the non-for-profit sector, um, I believe this, and, and Omar, if you can uh, back me up on this, I believe the wage subsidy of 75% also applies to the non-profit sector um, as well. Uh, we know the great work that they do in and around Canada, in and around our communities, and around the GTA. Um, and we want to make sure that um, th they continue uh, operating and they keep their employees employed. Um, because the, the thing is, we don't want to multiply a lot of the problems that we're having. These non-for-profits do great work in our community. Um, and we want to continue um, for them to do that great work. Um, so that's kind of for students and not-for-profit. And also, we, uh, we did announce, um, um, as you mentioned, you mentioned a little bit on it, for the Kids Help Phone. Uh, $7.5 million uh, for mental health support. Um, there's also been another 9 million support for seniors to help deliver with groceries, medications, uh, personal outreach, um, and even there's uh, increased support for uh, women and children that are fleeing violence. So we're trying to look at, uh, you know, uh, 
all different sectors, whether it's students, nonprofits, um, single mothers, uh, children, uh, etc. And, and we know that this is a stressful time for many people. Um, and we want to make sure that we have the services and programs provided, relieving interest, uh, putting in benefits so that um, we can ease this moment of, of stress for everyone. Amazing. Thank you, Omar. And we'll share more of the resources that you mentioned also later after this one, because I know it'd be difficult to provide website links verbally. Um, Omar, we've heard a lot about sen seniors being at greater risk than, than the young folk. Um, can you touch a little bit on the supports being provided for Syrian uh, seniors in um, long-term care homes or? So, um, um, you know, throughout this uh, period, we're relying significantly uh, on the advice of public health uh, uh, experts. And as, as Marwan had said, um, uh, uh, because it's really important uh, that we are informed by science, by evidence and by experts. Uh, so one of the things that uh, uh, public uh, health experts have noticed is that uh, seniors or people with underlying conditions, medical conditions, um, are impacted much more severely uh, than an average person by this virus. And it can be a lot more deadly for mm -hmm. them. Um, and that's why we're stressing it in, beyond, I think, I think uh, uh, importance or even greater than we can or more than whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a loss of words, but I think yeah. what I'm trying to say is that it, it's really, really important if one keeps themselves safe um, it's not just for them, it's for, uh, for their parents, for their grandparents, for their neighbors, and, and for people around, uh, around us in the neighborhood. So that is incredibly important. And yes, you're right, um, um, uh, we are providing assistance uh, to uh, the Prime Minister yesterday announced additional uh, money uh, that will be funneled uh, through United Way to work on programs and, and initiatives to support seniors during this difficult time. By the way, it is, it, it's not only just difficult because of the public health issue and risks, but also because of the self-isolation where a lot of the seniors may feel uh, alone uh, and are unable to get the help they need or the groceries they need. So with this money is meant to support seniors who are in isolation, who uh, need help getting uh, essentials and products that, uh, that is important for them. As well as um, we are providing um, lots, uh, $500 million to the provinces uh, to shore up the healthcare system, including uh, uh, providing support for fr frontline workers, uh, healthcare providers, whether they are at hospitals or whether they are at long-term care facilities. So, uh, so yes, there's significant uh, uh, focus on and supporting our seniors, yeah. um, uh, and 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 the provinces and the local governments are working collaboratively with uh, the federal government on providing all the support that we can offer our seniors. Fantastic, thank you so much, Omar. Perhaps Marwan, uh, the last question, and we'll take more questions from the audience. Um, uh, you know, maybe since Omar touched a little bit on the seniors piece, uh, I know that there have been some changes for the child care benefit program. And I guess, um, you know, parents are also staying at home with their kids. Uh, there, there's no longer um, uh, any ongoing uh, scheduling for regular scheduling, scheduling for them. And so um, what is the government doing to support the young in these difficult times? Can you tell us a little bit about the child care and child care benefit payments? So that's that touches on the, the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, okay. um, which which we mentioned the two thousand uh, dollars a month for four months. Um, a, 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 for one child, if, if you ha if you have children, for roughly a child, you'll get three hundred dollars more uh, per month for that child, and I believe that will be starting in in May. Um, and also, this this applies to those parents that have had to stay home. Uh, to care for their for their children, um, so that's um, that's part of the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. Amazing! Thank you so much. So we'll take some questions uh, from the audience. I know there's. Uh, uh, Shirin, just a final point on that support. Yeah. So uh, just to give you an example, a family, um, a couple that have two kids, 
Okay. You add up depending on the income because there are other other support as well that is available. For example, a GST rebate. We're increasing the GST re rebate for families that qualify. So if you add up the uh, 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 the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, because assuming both parents uh, have been impacted and their income had been uh, yeah. impacted by the virus, uh, yeah. plus the Canada Child Benefit, plus the GST rebate, we're talking about seventeen to eighteen thousand dollars over the next four months. So that is a significant financial uh, support that we know is needed uh, and it's essential. And, and by the way, I shouldn't forget the fact that we worked with the banks. Uh, now banks are uh, able to offer mortgage deferrals uh, for individuals who have been impacted by the virus. Plus uh, 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 the provinces have also been working on uh, putting um, eviction freezing uh, measures so uh, people who are renting um, uh, cannot be evicted if they're unable to pay their rent. Um, oh, okay. I know there's still, there's still more that needs to happen, but the, I, as I am trying to say is that we're, the measures that we're implementing are unprecedented to respond to the uh, uh, unprecedented times that we're in today. Thank you so much. That's um, uh, really good, and I am we're we're so uh, grateful for the government's response to address uh, this issue. And we do must work together now more than ever. Both uh, I think all not just uh, you know government and opposition, government opposition, and the third sector and the private sector to find I guess innovative solutions for us all to um, tackle this um, in a way that's you know efficient and effective um, uh, as opposed to uh, what other um, uh, countries have done. So we really appreciate your time also uh, to, to chat with us about these measures and because uh, we know how busy you are because you're responding to this also at a constituency level, right? Like people are coming to you as a member of parliament saying, where do I apply for this? Or how do I get this? So you're pretty busy yourself. And so thank you so much for all your public service and, and your time and your energy and, uh, and making time for us, appreciate it. Thank you for doing this, uh, for giving us the opportunity and giving the audience the opportunity to also um, share the, in this conversation with us. All right, so yeah, we, we're getting some questions here. Um, Marwan, some about the small business um, um, measures that you've announced. Some people are asking where we can find more details about the small medium business subsidies or support you were talking about earlier. Um, so uh, a, a lot of good places is you can always go to uh, um, the website Canada.ca and uh, if you just Google in support for small businesses, uh, it will come up. Also, if you're depending uh, which area you're in, if you're in, for example, in Omar's uh, writing in Mississauga Center, you can follow uh, Omar's Facebook page, uh, Instagram page, Twitter. Um, look at your local member of parliament because uh, daily, weekly, hourly, we're posting of, of a new benefit that comes out, uh, where they can apply, um, and, um, and, and you can find a, a lot of information on it. Fantastic. Shireen, I just want to add to follow up, uh, build on what uh, Marwan just said. If you go to the Canada.ca website, right up there says uh, financial assistance. If you need any information on the financial assistance, and if you click on it, it, it breaks down the type of financial assistance either by individual or uh, by business. Um, so you can scroll down to the business aspect and it talks about the various tools that are available for supporting business. Now, I have to just caution uh, 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 people who are anxious to get to apply for that support. Um, it still uh, hasn't been fully materialized yet. I'm hoping that the application form will be online over the coming days. Uh, just like also the emergency response benefit. Uh, hopefully by early next week, we will have all these application forms online, but the information is there to some degree and, 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 uh, uh, and our public service, our government officials are working around the clock to finalize these app the processes uh, uh, for, uh, for application. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Omar. Uh, one person said, thank you for taking the time to address our Arab Canadian community. We are so grateful for your representation and care for us. Other than government subsidies, is there anything we can do as consumers and fellow Canadians to support such businesses during this time? Um, yeah, I, I guess. I, 
I can start, you know, we can always, um, th there's been a lot on, uh, on talk shows and radio shows. They've been mentioning that, you know, go uh, get takeout uh, from your, you know, your favorite local restaurants. Uh, ensure that if, if you wanted to buy gift cards uh, for, for some of your family members to use later out for dinner, dining, etc., cetera, um, you can still shop a lot of things online. So we can still support our small businesses. Absolutely, they're, they're taking a, a hit right now. It, it's hard for them. But um, if we can help them at least operate, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60% of, of what they used to operate, it can go a long way and we can really help uh, those that were uh, laid off or employed. Um, so I would encourage that for a lot of the, the viewers. Take out. <laughs> um, Omar, maybe you, you can answer this. Was it you who touched it on the United Way funding? Yeah. Yeah, someone's asking many agencies that serve seniors are not United Way agencies. And so how will they benefit from the support which is being channeled through the United Way? Uh, look, um, as Marwan had mentioned, the announcement uh, that offers 75% of subsidy uh, for salaries applies to all not-for-profit and charitable organizations. Right. So right away, right away, all of these organizations, whether they are United Nations, uh, not United Nations, United Way agencies or not, uh, uh, can receive significant relief uh, to pay their salaries. And by the way, again, uh, they are not expected to top up the remaining 25%. So let's say the charity has right now zero revenue because of the situation. At least it can pay that 75% of the salary to keep their staff or their yeah. team employed and doing some of the work that they can do. So uh, that is, I think, a, a significant measure, than, bigger than any other measure that we're introducing, including the, the United uh, Way measure. Uh, now, as far as uh, as how I would encourage uh, that person or that organization to reach out to the United Way and to figure out if there's a way uh, for them to apply, because we're entrusting the United Way, given that they have the expertise and the tools uh, to work with agencies, um, um, that they will find a way to work together collaboratively. Uh, so I would encourage them to reach out to the United Way. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Omar. Uh, this one is back to employment again. It's um, is there a support for those looking for work but can't find it because many aren't hiring now. So people who are unemployed, what what's the best advice to give them if they are looking for work? So um, the uh, uh, CERB CERB or the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. Yeah. Uh, everybody who has zero income right now, plus. Um, Qualif uh, earned at least five thousand uh, dollars last year would be uh, would qualify for this benefit because we realize that the market the labor market right now is in in a, in a freeze in a maybe even a free fall so we know that some people uh, who are looking for jobs their ability to look for a job today uh, are are hindered by the economic situation because of the virus. Uh, so if they had earned $5,000 the previous year and have zero income today, they would qualify for CERB. Amazing. Um, I wanted to also make sure that uh, uh, everyone's aware. Uh, Hala Canada is, is with us right now, actually. Um, Haitham from Hala Canada. He's actually the um, uh, responsible for putting out all this um, news uh, for our audience. So I'll, I'll also share their link for anyone who's interested in uh, getting this information in Arabic later. Okay, I think we have one last question um, about, um, you, okay, so th there's actually two last questions. So if you have time, Omar and Marwan, do you have time for two more questions? Um, we'll try to make them very quick. Okay. What do you see the best use of the increased child benefit offered? What's the best use of it? Oh, I mean, Marwan, go ahead, you, if you want. I, I, I was just well, the last question. I mean, yeah, the, the child benefit, again, we're increasing it for $300 roughly per, per child. I mean, these are to get essential stuff uh, for your kids, for your family. And at this time, if, if we're seeing, you know, people's incomes uh, decrease, um, you know, th th this is a substantial amount so that, um, 
people can get through this the, these tough times. So um, with the child benefit and with all the other benefits at $2,000 per month, uh, we add them all up together. And as Omar mentioned, this is roughly $17,000, $18,000 for the next four months. Uh, and it, it should be used to uh, help you get through these uh, these tough times. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, we're not in a position to tell families how to uh, prioritize what their expenses are or what their needs are. We trust that uh, uh, because it's a difficult time that people have significant needs, and especially now with zero income. Um, so it, we trust that those families will be spending it uh, to, to, uh, to provide for their families. Amazing. Uh, the last question is, and you touched a little bit on this somewhat earlier, what do you have? Do you have some advice on avoiding scams related to COVID-19 and ensuring that you are dealing with the proper authority for services? Yeah, we uh, we talked about it, I guess, in the Arabic uh, segment where uh, it's incredibly important whenever you receive a piece of information on your WhatsApp, on your phone or on your social media to verify the source. Um, there is an abundance. Unfortunately, there is an abundance of misinformation out there. There are scammers who are trying to, um, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, muddy the water and steal personal information from individuals by claiming that they help you apply for this benefit or that benefit. So just be extremely cautious. Uh, if it if it sounds too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Um, verify the source if it's not from government. And in fact. Governments will not reach out to you unless you've applied for something. So make sure you go to a government website, a reliable government website, um, uh, before um, you trust that 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 information. And also, don't share it uh, before you verify that it's accurate. That's really important. Don't share the information that you're using to apply for applications with anybody else unless it's trusted. If I can add just ten seconds of something else. Also, right now it's uh, it, it, well, it was tax season. It's extended now, but there's a lot of scammers that uh, call your phone and say that uh, you need to do A, B, and C, or else you will face jail time and a large fine. That has been rampant on a lot of people's phones. Please, that that is a scam. Uh, CRA will only contact you through mail. Uh, facts, um, they won't call you directly. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much, Omar and Marwan. We are very happy to be to talk to you today and to make time for us. We really do appreciate your public service, and especially now, given that you're so, so, so busy. So I appreciate you making time. Um, and uh, we will be using these videos to translate them to Arabic and to use uh, to ensure that it reaches out um, uh, as many people as possible, particularly um, the moments where you've described that there's certain links that people have to access in order to get their information. So we appreciate you sharing all that information with us. Shireen, I want to thank you. Uh, I want to thank the Canadian Arab Institute, uh, PCAN, and all those who are helping you uh, put together uh, this session. I want to thank uh, the viewers who participated with us. Um, it's This is a really an important the tool to uh, spread out uh, uh, the word um, um, because pe there's a lot of uh, things that are happening very quickly, changing on a daily basis. So again, what we're saying, what Marwan and I are saying today may be different a few days from now. Yep. So just keep uh, relying on credible sources of information, keep checking those, uh, keep following the advice of public health officials. Yep. Um, and I, I know um, uh, uh, look, I, as I said earlier, no government is going to be able to fix this on its own unless individual citizens uh, uh, take their responsibility seriously. And I know that we will pull through this together. Um, and I'm looking forward to uh, the opportunity to um, uh, see you in person and, uh, and speak to you in person. Amazing. Thank you so much, Omar. I will say this, we are working uh, a little bit more on uh, ensuring these policies are reaching out as many people as possible. So we'll be holding different webinar sessions starting um, um, uh, April uh, on families, uh, on uh, various target audiences like youth, like business owners and, and workers to ensure that the community uh, understands what policies mean to them, but also understand what we can do to help them during this time as a not-for-profit. So this is a great segue to that. So we really appreciate your time. And Marwan, so much uh, uh, respect and uh, appreciation for you as well. 
No, thank you, Shireen, for, for hosting us. And thank you very much for, uh, you know, amplifying this to, to your audience. We're all in this together and uh, we'll get through this soon enough. All right. Stay tuned. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye-bye.